I've got used motherboard made by Gigabyte, which have socket IM3 Plus, just for 19 dollars. And in description, it was mentioned that it was sold as is because it had some banded pins. And while inspecting the motherboard, I don't see any banded pins on it. And seems for me that those banded pins are inside of the IM3 plus socket. This is how it looks if you will just plug the power. So let's also plug the power button. So you will see that indicator is always on. It means that there is a short circuit somewhere on the board. I'm considering it that some of the pins are abandoned inside of the IM3 plus socket. So this is how it looks. As you can see, no CPU is installed, no RAM, but as soon as you provide power, the power button just lights on. If you will try to switch it off by pressing it for more than 6 seconds, it's still staying on. So it's definitely some short circuit on a board. I tried installing the CPU, RAM, video card, and it's doing the same. As soon as I provide the power, the power button lights on and nothing doesn't happen. You cannot switch it off, cannot turn it on, nothing at all. So let's take IM3 socket apart and check for banded pins. I've got some info how actually IM3 socket could be taken apart by jamming those pins so it should come off but unfortunately it's just IM3 version of the socket in this case it's socket AM3B which is different as you can see I don't have that much to lose anyway I have to found those banded pins I'm considering that previous owner remove the CPU together with the heat sink without being opening the socket itself. That's why there is damage, internal damage to the pin secured. So let's take the cover and check for banded pins inside of the socket. All right, on the previous picture it actually was IM2 socket. And this is the procedure in order to remove the upper cover for IM3 socket. This is what have to be done. The lever have to be removed. You will hear the click twice and you will be able to pull out the socket. So let's try this. So this is IM3 plus, as you can see. It's not IM2. All right, let's try. So it was one click. All right, but also you will need, before you will hear the second click, you need to remove the mount because there is not enough space in order to remove the lever. So take a Phillips screwdriver and remove the mount, remove those two bolts. All right, basically remove those four bolts and you will be able to remove the heatsink mount. You can see it's removed. Right, and right now you can remove the lever completely. 
just like this. The upper cover is still on place. I noticed that there is some like a small mounts right here, so you have to lift them up. And this will give you some space to completely remove the socket. So they located right here. After some struggling, I was able to remove it. As you can see, I cannot detect like the presence of any bended pins when IM3 socket was taken apart. This is how the lever looks inside. When you open and close socket. In this socket you cannot bend any pins. This is how the socket looks inside. The only thing that could happen, the processor pin can stuck in one of them. So this video will give you an example of how this socket looks inside and how to take him apart. As you can see, I wasn't able completely successfully to take him apart. I crack some of those plastic pieces, but in the same moment I still can put everything back, but there is no necessity in it, because as you can see, motherboard have a shortage somewhere else, definitely not in the bent pins. But anyway, this is how I am socket looks from the inside, and the steps I demonstrated. First of all, you have to remove the mounts, you have to remove the lever, and then, little by little, you will be able to remove the upper cover from your IM3 socket. Thanks for watching.